Hello there, YouTube. It is your good old pal, Nathan Man, back with you. So today, guys, I'm going to show you how to unclog a tub. <laughs> So guys, you guys can see here, I slowed it down a little bit just to show you. I've got the tub drain, that big hole on the side there, that's the overflow cap. I didn't clarify this well enough, I need that rag or shirt completely soaked, like sopping wet. A lot more than what I show in the video and I wish I showed you guys it better. So anyhow guys, get that overflow cap off, so that way you have the hole exposed. And with your rag, I'm using a t-shirt, have it completely soaked, grab a plastic bag if you have one, and then you're going to want to shove it in the overflow cap there. And it can be a lot more handier having a second person nearby, just to help press on it while you're plunging. because it help stop the airflow from happening. Oh, fell out there. That's okay. You guys get the idea though. Basically, if you don't do this when you're plunging, there's no suction anymore on your tub drain and your plunger. It's just poofing out of the overflow. Oh, if you clog this hole with a shirt and a bag, then it will basically allow you to have that plunging effect, the sucking effect that loosens up everything inside of the drain. Uh huh. Yeah, you see, I'm getting my big plunger out. Fill it up with water too, guys. That's always very handy. A lot of water, personally. Like, more water, the better. And make sure that when you got your plunger, oh, and hot water too just because it helps helps really choose it up more. That's the way I like to look at it. One thing I forgot to show you guys too, I did it kind of wrong. This is all, It was a bit of a reenactment in a way because I had just unclogged the tub in a bit of an emergency and I didn't get a chance to film what happened, but I figured I'd show you later on how I did it. You guys can see I had a, a shirt, I had a plastic bag, um, one thing I didn't show in it that I should have is you're, you you want to make sure that the shirt or rag or whatever it is you're using is sopping wet. Okay? And then it's also handy too to have another person nearby just pushing on it. So now guys, I'm going to show you what I pulled out of the drain. Oh, it's pretty darn intense. <laughs> ah, oh, oh gosh, that's disgusting. Oh some nasty stuff nasty nasty stuff well guys if you're pulling out stuff like that then you know you're doing something right um, really when you're plunging you're not gonna have that just kind of magically appear you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to get your hands dirty stick your hand down in that drain and try to pull grab a hold of anything that's coming loose and then I pulled all that out of my drain isn't that amazing no need to call a plumber. You guys can fix this on your own. So after that, you're going to get your overflow cap back on, and that is pretty much it. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. I ended up buying a new overflow cap, and look at how darn sparkly and shiny and new it looks. Well, mine, mine was busted, and kind of needed to replace it, but just never got around to it. So... Here I am now, I wanted to show you guys it. It's very easy putting these things back together. <laughs> well there guys, if you have enjoyed this video and learned something new, please leave a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and your family, and please subscribe for more guys and hit that bell. I will. I hope that you all have a awesome day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you all next Wednesday. I'm going to try and scratch my head with my big finger. Here, watch this. It's so darn itchy. Ah! 
See you guys all next week. Bye.